which is called God is the Greatest Event. Today is um, August the 29th, and the time now is about three minutes past two. Um, this is Gospel Faith Ministries Evangelical Church. Uh, my name is Pastor Jim Alex. I say it again, welcome to the event which is called God is the Greatest. Now, um, the first thing I want to pray for is strength. I want God to give us strength in our lives so we can continue to do great and enormous things for God. I want God to give us strength in our lives so we can maneuver and become achievers because it's not easy to try to achieve this all by yourself. So let's begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you for the strength. 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 We thank you for the glory. We thank you for the glory. We thank you for the glory. We thank you for being who you are. We thank you for being who you are. There's no way we can achieve success without the power of God. There's no way we can achieve success without the power of God. There's no way, there's no way, there's no way. There's no way. If you look at the table here, if you look at the table here, you see a book that I just finished writing um, a week ago, and the book is called The Selfish World. The book is called The Selfish World, and it's written by Pastor Ojimba Alex, that's the front cover, and that's the back cover. So if you look at the table, I've got over, I don't even know, maybe 50 copies or something like that. I broke and I'm expecting 50 people to come to this conference today. But I couldn't achieve this. I wrote this book in a week. I couldn't achieve it with my own strength. So that's why I'm still praying for strength in our lives. God should strengthen us. Thank you for the strength, God. Thank you for the strength, God. Thank you for the strength, God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he went away for 40 days and 40 nights. And he was fasting and praying to God, the Almighty Father. Now, when I think of that situation, I ask myself, why was Jesus Christ praying and fasting for 40 days and 40 nights? It's because he wanted strength. Because Jesus Christ of Nazareth came to this world as a physical human being, like Pastor Jimba Alex, myself, and my good friend, cameraman, Concesco. Yeah, Jesus Christ came to this, Concesco Linus. So Jesus Christ came to this world, <laughs> Jesus Christ came to this world as a human being. So I can imagine Jesus Christ when he went away for 40 days and 40 nights, and his disciples didn't know where he was. His disciples, they didn't know where he was. They couldn't emphasize where he was. They looked for Jesus Christ all over the place. They couldn't find him. But most importantly, Jesus Christ of Nazareth was away for 40 days and 40 nights because he wanted strength. So I pray that wherever you are in the world today, I don't know if you're watching me live, I don't know if you're watching me via Facebook, I don't know if you're watching me via YouTube, I don't know what channel or TV channel you're watching me from, but I pray that God strengthens your life. I pray that God strengthens your life. I want strength to come into your life right now. I don't know if you're on your deathbed, I don't know what illness you're facing, I don't know what disease you're facing, I don't know what trauma you're facing, but what I do know is that God can strengthen you. God can strengthen you, God can strengthen you, God can strengthen you. So begin to say, begin to speak, begin to speak, begin to speak. Say, God, give me the strength. Say, God, I need the strength. Say, God, you will strengthen me. Say, God, thank you for the strength. I need the strength, I need the strength, I need the strength. Jesus Christ resurrected from the dead. That strength came from somewhere. 
Jesus Christ of Nazareth resurrected from the dead. He didn't do it by himself. That strength came from somewhere. Elijah, one of God's most highest prophets in this world, he didn't die a physical death. He wasn't buried. He didn't see the grave. The Bible says that when it was time for Elijah to die, Elijah elevated and um, Elijah, his assistant, and all the people that were around, they looked at Elijah and Elijah took off and he went on in, he went into heaven. They looked at Elijah and he was going and going and going from earth all the way into heaven. How did Elijah do that? He didn't do that with his human strength. It's God that gave him the strength to do that. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 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 We need strength. We need strength to elevate ourselves. We need strength, divine strength, to accomplish. Heavenly Father, I pray for strength right now in the name of Jesus. I am Pastor Jimba Alex. That's who I am. That's my book. I don't hide. Sorry, 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 cameraman. I don't hide. I'm Pastor Jimba Alex. I need strength sometimes. I need strength. You think it's easy to write a book? That's the back cover. I'll show you the back cover. You think it's easy to write a book? It's God that gave me the strength. It's God that gave me the strength to write this book. It's called the selfish world. We live in a selfish world. So if we live in a selfish world like this, you need strength to overcome. God, we need strength to overcome. God, we need strength to overcome. God, we need strength to overcome. I know there's going to be a lot of food in my event. And a lot of people are going to come. Because obviously there's food as well. There's Jamaican food. <laughs> there's African food. And they're going to start singing loud. But that's not the kind of stream I'm talking about. <laughs> and they eat till they're full up. They say, yeah. But, but maybe if the food wasn't there, then you'd be warning me. And I say, listen, Pastor, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> My camera said they'll put me on the floor and start doing this to me. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> but anyway, that's not the kind of stream I'm talking about. I'm, ta I'm talking about the stream that comes from God. The strength that Jesus Christ of Nazareth used to raise the dead. That's the kind of strength I'm talking about. That's the kind of strength I'm talking about. So wherever you are in the world today, thank you for tuning in to Gospel Faith Television UK and receive your strength. Stretch forth your hand right now to the screen. Stretch forth your hand right now to the screen. Yes, and combine or co-join your faith with Pastor Jimba Alex right now. Strength is coming into your body. Say strength is coming into my body. Strength is coming to your body. Say strength is coming into my body. Strength is coming to my body. Right, strength is coming into your body right now because you connect with Pastor Jimba Alex. Hallelujah. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Now I'm going to be praying about vision. You know, a lot of people walk around in this world and they don't have no vision. If Jesus Christ of Nazareth didn't have no vision in this world, he wouldn't be able to achieve anything whatsoever. It would have been impossible to achieve anything whatsoever. So I'm telling you right now, that we need the vision, we need the vision, we need the vision, we need the vision, we need the vision. Congestible.